Can you prepare yourself to survive in a nuclear environment and know how to react to a nuclear hazard? Our planet is a wonderfully complex and beautiful world. As humans, we can at times carve it up into a freakish nightmare and we can destroy it entirely. This is an airburst of a typical nuclear weapon exploded at a height of about 2,000 feet. This pulverizing shockwave forms a dust pedestal which seems to follow the rising cloud. Part one of this series covered the subsurface burst, which is the most unlikely scenario. An air burst occurs in the air above its intended target. The Johnston Island portion of the 1962 Dominic Test Series conducted by Joint Task Force 8 included two types of tests. It involved a number of high altitude nuclear detonations carried aloft by various missiles launched from the island and the other was a group of five airdrops over the ocean and clear of the island but within the Johnston Island danger area. The airburst provides the maximum radiation effect on the target and is therefore most dangerous to you in terms of immediate nuclear effects and the EMP effect to the grid which is a longer term effect. This type of burst is a likely scenario. A surface burst occurs on the ground or water surface. Large amounts of fallout result with serious long term effects. This type of burst is your greatest nuclear hazard and one of the most likely scenarios. On the water you can see the shock wave coming toward the camera. Watch those palm trees in the foreground. The weapons are being loaded aboard the aircraft. In this case, both weapons are B-43s. Nuclear injuries. Most injuries in the nuclear environment result from the initial nuclear effects of the detonation itself. These injuries are classed as blast, thermal, or radiation injuries. Further radiation injuries may occur if you do not take proper precautions against fallout. Individuals in the area near a nuclear explosion will probably suffer a combination of all three types of injuries. Blast injuries. Blast injuries produced by nuclear weapons are similar to those caused by conventional high explosive weapons. Blast over pressure can produce collapsed lungs and ruptured internal organs. Projectile wounds occur as the explosion force hurls debris at you. Large pieces of debris striking you will cause fractured limbs or massive internal injuries. Blast over pressure may throw you long distances and you will suffer severe injury or death upon the impact to the ground with other objects. Substantial cover and distance from the explosion are the best protection against blast injury. Cover blast injury wounds as soon as possible to prevent the entry of radioactive dust particles. enter our display areas close to ground zero, once RAD safe okays us for the move up. Since the biggest value of the operation is for us to prove to ourselves that it can be done and find any weak points in the training, psychiatrists are with us to study our reactions before, during, and after the experience. It's quite an experience, no matter where you are to watch it. Thank <laughs> you.